Hey guys, Messy Nessie here. So I have a friend who wanted me to try a color combo out with the Ocean Green by Master's Touch, as well as a dark purple and some white. But I'm gonna also be doing an experiment today. So we've been trying to get cells in some of our past few videos um, with like silicone and it hasn't been working for me. So I've seen somebody get cells with rubbing alcohol. So I wanted to give it a try, but I want to spray the canvas on top with the rubbing alcohol instead of mixing it in with the paints, just to see if that affects it at all. And I want to spray the bottom of the canvas down with rubbing alcohol before we do our flip cup. So let's get this cup about half full with the Ocean Green by Master's Touch, my Home Mix White, and the Deep Violet. This is the dark purple that I made with some paints I had laying around. Let's see what we get. I'm really excited. I wonder if this is going to work. You never know until you try something, though. Make sure we get about half a cup. Let's see. Ooh, got a little on the edge there, but it's okay. Alright, I feel like that's good. Okay, now we have rubbing alcohol with like a little sprayer on it. Let's spray the canvas down and do a flip cup and see what we get. I already see some of the paint coming down from the bottom. And it's like reacting with some of the alcohol, I think. Oh, oh, look at that. It like slips around really easily. There's almost like gray in there. The white and the purple maybe made like a gray. Oh, I see some of the blue coming up right there. There's what the inside looks like. Remember, there's no alcohol on the inside of the cup. It's only on the outside. So let's do like, oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Now the paint itself was really slippery. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have sprayed the canvas. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's do over here, over here. <laughs> <laughs> this one's looking interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got the canvas covered. Okay. Mm. It's like really thick in some areas and really thin in others. There's absolutely like no blue showing up. Alright, one second. Jiggle it down. Okay, next experiment, do not spray canvas first. Got it. All right. Now it's just splitting right here. So, let's see what we're working with. If I'm not mistaken, we are getting some cells happening because of the spray bottle. Let's do that and let's take a heat gun to it and see what happens. Alrighty, this one is interesting. I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, and we'll see if anything special happens with any of this. And we already learned one thing, don't spray the canvas first. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, this is not working out at all how I had possibly would have wanted it. So I'm gonna just move it to the side, grab a new canvas, put it down here, and we'll do it again without spraying the canvas itself with alcohol. Be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we've got the same cup we just had, so there's a little bit of paint in the bottom of it. Let's do some blue. And some white.
And there was already a good amount of purple in the bottom. I'm gonna shoot it in there kind of hard to try and make it break up some of those colors. And the same with the blue this time. Shoot it in there kind of hard. And the white. Okay, so we should have some fun little mixes happening in there now. Flip cup. I have the tape on the bottom of these because I do acrylic pour on vases sometimes. And I've noticed that when I put a little tape on the bottom of the cup, it helps almost like stabilize it. All right, trying to get the corners done. I didn't put quite as much paint in this cup. Okay. I think we're gonna tilt and then spray at the end to see what happens. Maybe that was part of the issue as well with spraying it before we tilted it a minute ago. All right, there's the cup. Let's tilt and see what we get. A lot of white happening on the top. But I do know that in general, white is a heavier pigment than the other colors. So maybe if when we break it up, we'll get uh, some cells happening. I do see some cells happening already, like right here. Let's put a little bit more paint on this canvas. Purple. Blue. Those colors are so pretty together. She was right. Those are beautiful colors together. I gotta make a little bit more white. I'm almost out. Alright, let me just dirty pour this half of the canvas. I'm gonna get some beautiful skins out of this, that's for sure. Try and get it to come down a little bit. Over. And let's get the paint to move this way some. I feel the weight of the paint is in the middle right now. So this part's gonna take a minute. Fingers crossed, guys. One, two, just do a few sprays. See what happens. Alrighty. So it's breaking apart right here. You can start seeing some cells. And there's a couple cool ones happening over here. Wonder if we tilt more. Right there are some cool cells happening. It's like they broke up. Some are becoming a little deeper. Wonder if I unscrew the cap and like make some drips instead of sprays. I've seen people make cells with alcohol before. Maybe I do have to mix it in the paint. I try and save on cups when I can. It's hoping this might work. Let's see, we let it run down. Ooh, let's let it run down that big white part. 
interesting. Oh, you know what? Let's Dutch pour it a little bit. I'm gonna pause, dismount, bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right guys, here's the bottom left. Moving to the right. Ooh, look how cool that is. So spraying the alcohol on top, I'm gonna say did not work out right at all. And I'm not seeing any cells happening in here either. But I do believe that using the blow dryer to move some of the paint around to create lines did save this. This thing looks really awesome. Very excited about it. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And join my group if you want to see the dry downs from these two paintings. Thank you guys.